folks. Uh, I did this uh, frog loop video before. Um, I don't know. Is this, I guess, a preference thing? I'm doing frog loop on my rifles. I'm just sticking with uh, regular oil right now for my handguns because I like the frog loop, but uh, um, instead of like having car carbon like stuck to the material like heavy like usual, I guess maybe if you use like a regular uh, a regular oil or whatever, this stuff uh, it just builds up like on top like a layer. The frog loop makes it like a layer basically. Anyways, it gets kind of gunky. And to me, I don't think that's a big deal for your for your rifle, you know. Um, it gets gunky, kind of like a like a grease almost, you know. So it's kind of probably not even that big of a deal, you know what I'm saying? So with a handgun, though, I don't know. It's just gunky in a handgun for me, you know. Um, I did this video before, but I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I didn't show when I was. You gotta apply some heat to get this thing going so that's what i'm gonna be doing um check out what i got right here i'm gonna try to get in it. all right so get like yourself uh i'm just gonna use my weiss blow dryer is what i use and get all these parts all warmed up all nice like that warm them up slightly warm them up slightly just in case you guys can't hear me Then what I'm gonna do is, is just, I'm just gonna goop it on. I'm gonna put it on stuff. I'm gonna goop it on. I'm gonna put it everywhere. I even like uh, took it off some spots last time, this and that, but no, it's not a big deal. All right, so I'll start with this because we don't really need to do this, but I'm just gonna do it just for fuck's sake. All right, guys. Heat up the part a little bit. I don't want to be getting the shit too hot, you know what I'm saying? It's aluminum, so I don't know. I wouldn't get it too hot. Anyways, kind of brush it on. Part is warm, it goes on nice and beautiful. Um, like I said, this is the frog lube. I didn't show how to really apply, I kind of just gooped it on in the last video. I'll leave the video up. You guys can check it out if you care. If not, it's not a big deal. Um, so, like I said, this is what I'm using for my rifles. Uh, to me, dude, I love this shit. It smells like uh, wintergreen or something like that. It smells hella good. Uh, so far, my rifle, I don't know, man. The wear, I haven't seen anything like excessive wear. Because once this stuff dries up and you go out there firing and shit, it don't even look like there's nothing on your on your moving parts so um i don't know it's kind of a you gotta just have faith in it and know it's there so uh anyways let's get to this next piece putting it everywhere people everywhere I wasn't even doing it here but I'm doing it there I'm doing it everywhere I've been upgrading the parts of my rifle and making it just more reliable um, so I don't know I'm just feeling real good about my stuff you know um, it was this new extractor uh, kit from uh, BCM uh, big deal for me um, I don't know what you guys if you guys agree or whatnot Try to dry that out with the dry side of the Q-tip. Q See, there's a little bit of black shit still on there. All right, so that's that. Let's take some off of here, put it on here just like this. Heat this thing up. Uh, smells real good it's non-toxic look I even got a fucking cut on my hand it's not really a big deal you just rub it in there you know what I'm saying make it heal faster probably um, 
same thing with every little piece. You don't, you do, you know what I mean? Everything is, everything is uh, trial and error, own opinion, that kind of thing. So, you know, everybody's is going to be different, you know. Some people might not, you know, lube something up that I might, you know. I like all the metal surfaces that are going to touch and, you know, move whether I'm, you know, whether it's, um... A mechanical function through the rifle by itself when you pull the trigger or if you're doing something like pulling the charging handle you know what I'm saying creating a motion putting some metal on metal you know what I mean aluminum on aluminum so um, I was a metal smith in the Navy uh, sheet metal um, fiberglass everything that had to do with aircraft uh, parts so um, I think I have a little bit of just knowledge in that field at least so uh, Anyways, I'm going to do the bolt carrier now. They say after you apply this with the heat and everything, um, that you should wipe it off with like a felt rag or something, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of like it when it sets up kind of goopy and gunky, I mean, then just like only coming out when the rifle heats up, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, tell me what your opinions, um, your experiences with frog lube, let me know what you think, um, I'm using it guys uh, another thing if anybody has any tips on how I can get deep down in there inside my uh, bolt carrier group um, shit let me know cuz I got some shit in there that probably needs to come out and I don't want to fuck it up anyways and also I was wondering does anybody know is this an M16 bolt carrier here Um, somebody told me if it's all the way, all even around in the back like that, that it is. I'm sure it's probably more details to finding out. It doesn't have no markings on it or anything. I got it with my Delton. Um, most of the parts in the Delton were super freaking cheap, so I don't know that this would be an M16, uh, bolt carrier. Let me know what you guys think, just from, uh, looking at it yourself. Let me know what you think. I haven't had no problems with it. So yeah, they say to wipe it off when you're all done, when it's all said and done. Um, me personally, I might just wipe off a little bit, but I kind of like it a little bit goopy. So um, that's what I got on the frog lube, guys. That's how you apply it. Um, I think it's up to you how much you want to like take it off or leave it on. All right, thanks a lot.